In this video with the Onking, I'm going to show you how to use the Onki Simulator add-on. This thing is cool and I'm really excited to show you how to use it. This Anki simulator is so cool. I really like it and I'm really thankful for those guys that uh, worked on this. But first, I wanna pull you over here to our video on the Anki algorithm. It's really important that you understand this, like really important that you understand what learning and graduated means. It'll make the simulator a lot easier to use. I've also got our recommended settings video pulled up here. Uh, and then I'm gonna talk about this in a second, but there's another uh, website here that I will link in the description that also kind of does something similar to the simulator. Um, I don't think this is quite as good, but it is still useful and does a couple things that are different. So just as an example, I have the medical school deck, but this applies to basically anything that you wanna do it to. Uh, and if I go into the browser here, I just wanna show you, if I click on the deck, there's about 30,000 cards and I've suspended about 3,000 of them. So there's about 27,000 cards that are active, that are not suspended, right? So we're gonna go in here and click simulate. I just clicked on the options thing and simulate. And you can click load deck options and performance. It's automatically gonna put everything in here. It's gonna load your performance on all of this stuff. This is all arbitrary because I haven't actually done any cards in this profile. Um, but let's let's you know make this a little look a little more like what my actual thing does look like. Now I'm changing all of this. This here is the percent correct on learning steps. Here's your learning steps. Like I said, remember this is really important that you understand all this stuff. Those are my learning steps. This is how many cards you get correct on those steps. So on this first step, 70% uh, of the cards I get correct. And then on the second learning step at one day, I get 90% correct, right? This is all arbitrary, but, um, and it'll actually load your performance when you do this, which is really cool. And then I have all of my settings in here, and these are the ones from my recommended settings video. Um, but in order to, to do this, I'm actually going to set this here to 64. I've just done the math and we'll set this to 420 days. So this is assuming that you want to do all 27,000 of these cards. We're gonna use the actual cards in this deck. We are not going to include the suspended cards, so we're just gonna do the 27,000 that we wanted to do. And we're gonna do them over the next about a year and a half. Um, this is a typical a time that a medical student would be studying. And if you divide 27,000 cards by 420 days, you get 64 new cards per day. I just did that for fun. Now, you could also click simulate new cards, not use the actual cards in your deck and type in the amount of cards that you're planning on doing. And that would work basically the same way. It, they would give you the same result. So I'm going to use this one. Oops. And you can also, if you click both of these, you can add cards to the deck. So I'm going to do that, and you can see everything else I've left just like I have normally, and we, you can name it whatever you want. We'll just leave it as simulation one, and you click simulate, and it's going to load and populate and tell you this really cool data. And I'm show you about how many number of repetitions you'll be doing every day. Now remember, this is repetitions, not reviews. So um, that's including that like you're getting this wrong 70 or 30 percent of the time, which means you have to do 30 percent of those cards again of those uh, 64 cards. So it's factoring that in, and you can see it goes up to about. 900 by about the time you finish and if we lengthen this from 5 420 out to 500 theoretically we'd be done with the deck so you'll see it kind of drop off um, out here there you go so you can see it kind of drop off as you finish everything now um, you can also clear last simulation you can name these do whatever you want to make it so they're all the same and the thing that i think is the most fun to play with is the percent correct here and the maximum interval one thing i recently discovered is if you change this to 99999 instead of limiting it to six months you don't ever limit it, there is no max interval, and you click simulate, you'll notice it is almost exactly the same line. Um, that's a common thing that people talk about, and it really doesn't make that big of a difference. It's a tiny bit less, but not a huge amount. The thing that really makes the difference is these percent corrects. So if I decrease this 5%, you'll notice that when I simulate it, it's going to jump up quite a bit. So this is just a really cool add-on to play with. Um, so there you go, you can see it jumped up quite a bit, and obviously if you decrease this one, it does the same thing. So lots of cool things you can do. Most of it is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, this manual you click here has more data if you need more information on how to use it. I'm gonna go back over here. This is another Anki simulator and I've done the exact same thing. My settings and I've put in the deck size here. And then this is the part that I think is cool that this website has that the simulator doesn't have. So if I click simulate, you can see roughly about how many repetitions and reviews. It separates the two out you would have as you're finishing that deck. But this allows you, it does this, um, you, I'm not gonna go into this too much because it's kind of a rabbit hole to go down. It talks about it in the Anki manual, but essentially if you, ch if you use this equation here to change the interval modifier, you can change your expected retention. So if I say I want an 85%, if I'm normally getting 90%, that's where you need to start is where are you? 
then this should be set to one with where you are. And then you decrease this, say you want to only be 85% because you wanna have uh, less success, you would increase your interval modifier to 154%, and then that would decrease it. Now, if I click simulate, watch what happens, you'll notice it, it, it goes down, your card load goes down a little bit because we increased the interval modifier quite a bit, um, but your retention decreased as well. So let's say we're defaulting at a 90% and we want to increase to 95%, that would mean you need to increase your interval modifier or decrease it to about 50%, which would stink, and watch what happens, you're gonna have a massive increase in card load. Oh yeah, like completely unsustainable. I've never seen that happen ever um, but just kind of that's that's kind of how this works so just kind of fun there's also a couple other things here but play around with this add-on it's really powerful and a lot of fun to know kind of play with your settings and see what happens thanks for learning with the on king be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel here as well as follow us on facebook instagram or patreon that is at on king med also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website onkingmed.com for more tips and tricks